Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to do some tests on Samsung KS8000. All right, this is Logan. And uh, I have changed a few things around here, as a matter of fact. Uh, what I basically did, I went to the picture mode standard. And I went to the expert settings. And I moved the brightness to 35. Just to see how much of deep dark levels can I achieve with the brightness down to 35. Then I went it over here to gamma and move the gamma a little bit to minus one and actually it's not that bad it's not that bad but you still notice that there's that LED bright light coming the edge light that's coming from the uh, back of the screen now, let me uh, go ahead and try a couple of other scenes here really quick. Uh, so this is not bad. Not bad for an LED. Not bad for this movie. Uh, let me go and uh, go to another scene. Like right here, for example. Uh, it doesn't look bad. It's not that bad. You know. So uh, try to move the gamma a little bit down. And uh, try to... Here, let me show you. Try to do this. Go to the expert settings, go all the way down, and um, move the gamma to minus one, and then move uh, brightness to 35. Now the color, you can keep it at 50, but I'm going to try to go to 55. Get the colors up a little bit. Let me see, contrast 100, brightness at uh, 35. Let's try this. Hold on. Let me keep the brightness at 50. I'm going to try something here. Keep the brightness at 50. And then I'm going to go over here to color uh, colors uh, standard. Well, let's move it to uh, warm 2. Let's let's leave it at warm 2. Let's even let's even leave the gamma at 0. And uh, let me see now what can I achieve you know what let's even keep the color at 50 like this and let's see what we can do here okay let me adjust my low light okay what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try to like move around a little bit like this and I'm going to try to get like close to the TV like this. I just want to see how it looks. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, even from this distance. Hold on. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad at all. I mean, but you still see that. You know, here's the thing. You still see that bending edge light. It's still there, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. It's still there, but it's not bad, you know. The reason why it's so hard, here's the thing, man. Once you go back to the, uh, once you watch OLED, and then you try to go back to uh, edge-lit or backlit, uh, fully backlit LEDs, I mean, they're all backlit, but it's just they use different terms, edge-lit, and then one a full array backlit, uh, it's just kind of hard to go back to uh, to this, but you can still enjoy it. It's still there, you know. Now let's go to another scene. Here's another scene right here, and uh, looks pretty good. Let me uh, try to do the same thing. Let me come over here. Let me try to uh, get a little bit closer to the TV. I mean, like I said, you know, it's not bad. You still see that. I mean, look, this is deep. These are like the as pure as deep dark levels that they can be. It's OLED. I mean, let's just 
let's just acknowledge that this is OLED, guys. So the deep dark level is always going to be perfect. But for an LED, this is actually not that bad. You know, I'm trying to find the best suitable uh, custom calibration for this film. That's what I'm doing here. Okay, let's try a couple of more tests here. Let's see. Let me go to uh, to the scene on the desert. A uh, more colorful scene. More brighter scene. Let's do that. Hold on. And here's another great scene right here. So I've changed a few things here. Uh, I have moved the uh, the temperature to standard. So keep the temperature at standard. And here, let me show you. Keep the... Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Hold on. You know what, man? Natural movie... I'll keep it at standard. Let's go to the expert settings. I think I can move the brightness down to how about 42? Brightness at 42. Let's keep the sh uh, sharpness at 12. Actually, keep it at 10. Uh, let's put the color at 55. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Auto motion. Uh, actually, we could put some auto motion here. Why not? Wait a minute. Right here. Maybe gamma we could put it. No, you don't want to. You'll dim it too much. Keep it at zero. Color space is native. Let me see. Let's keep it on automatic. I think it's better if we keep it on automatic. Let's keep that on automatic. Dynamic contrast. Actually, we should put some dynamic contrast here. It looks better, man. Hold on. Let's keep the dynamic contrast on high. Let's see it now. So let's see what we can achieve here. To our fellow LED fanboys. Hold on. Let me, let me go to another scene. Actually, this looks pretty good. Actually, this is not that bad. It's not that bad at all, though. This is actually a pretty good uh, picture right now. And I honestly think this is the best that I can do right now for the Logan. Let's go to another scene. And then I'm, I'm going to show you the full custom picture settings for this uh Samson KS8000. So let me go ahead and uh, let me switch to another scene. All right, so here's a great example right here. Uh, this looks great. I'm definitely digging this. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, this is good. I definitely recommend these settings uh, for the. Uh, for uh, Samsung KS8000. Here, let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Hold on. Right here, from this side. As you can see, I was able to get them deep dark levels a little bit deeper, so it looks more natural. Look, yes, there is a way for you to get them deep dark levels here, but there's something that you can't get rid of. You guys can see it here. Only my eyes can see it. The camera cannot see it. I would have to turn the lights off in order for you to see it. But there are certain things. Uh, when you're watching a movie, look, here's the deal. If you have LED backlit or edge lit, don't watch it all the way from the left side. Make sure you watch it from a center or from a left and right within the center uh, square. You know what I mean? Within the center measurement of that square, make sure you stay there and watch it from that. What I mean by that, like, is this. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. Here, let me show you. Okay, this is fine. You can watch it here. You can watch it here. You can watch it here. You can watch it there. And all of these here are fine to be watched for the uh, edge lid. But if you come here, if you go all the way up here, 
then that becomes a problem. You guys cannot see it, but I see it, that bending light, uh, then that becomes a problem, okay? So let me go ahead, let me go to some more scenes and let me uh, just show you how it looks. And then I'm going to show you the uh, custom picture settings that I used for uh, Logan on Samsung KS8000. And by the way, I'm running a uh, M9500 Samsung 4K player. That's the 2017 version. And I still like that player. It's a good player, but... And it does represent the HDR really well. This is HDR, by the way. Just you guys are wondering. Uh, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you that it is an HDR. You're going to see it there. See, it says HDR. Clearly can see it there. It says HDR. Okay, let's go to the next scene. And this is also another great uh, scene right here. And the picture really looks great. I think this is the best I can do, honestly, for Logan on the uh, Samsung KS8000. Uh, let's go through some more scenes. Look, for example, right here. Uh, this looks pretty good. This is actually pretty good for a uh, Samsung KS8000. Now, let me go to another, another uh, scene right here. And then right here. Actually, this looks fantastic. This really looks fantastic. I think I find something for you guys, LED fanboys, something to cherish. You see, here I am helping you LED fanboys trying to get best possible picture for Logan. And what do I get in return? I get you guys talking smack about the OLED. That's what I get in return. And here I am, putting all this goddamn effort, trying to give you guys the best possible custom picture settings. Let's go to another scene, if this is not enough. Here's another great uh, example right here. Look at the, uh, that orange and, and the HDR and overshadowing right there. Uh, it looks really good. Look, this is the best I can get for you. This is as best as you're going to get for that edgelet uh 4K HDR white color gamut TV. This is the best you're gonna get. And remember, don't expect deep dark levels to be perfect. They are never going to be perfect on the uh, LED backlit. Why? Because you have that LED light behind it. Imagine me holding a LED flashlight behind you. That light has to go somewhere. Has to leak. Has to leak somewhere. Now Z9D, they were able to compress that. Use as, as little as possible uh, LED deals. They were able to figure out the way how to cramp them in there and how to make him not bleed too much. They were able to isolate those LED lights and make him not bleed as much. But still, when you go all the way, all the way to the left, you're going to see that bending light. You're still going to notice that. The reason you can't notice that on the uh, OLED people is because. The OLED doesn't have anything, any kind of a light behind it. It only has its own organic light emitting diode, similar to plasma. This is the same war we had LCD versus plasma. The problem with plasma was plasma wasn't sophisticated. It was burning out. It was having all sorts of issues. With the uh, OLED, it's... A little bit different. It's a different type of technology. And here's another great uh, example right here. All right, so uh, let me show you one more scene, and then I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you the uh, the custom picture settings that I have created here. Here's another example right here. Another still. Uh, actually, this looks great. Honestly, this is perfect. I think you guys are going to definitely enjoy this calibration. This, excuse me, custom picture settings. God forbid I use the word calibration. Here's another great shot right here. Looks great. Let me show you one more. And here, HDR looks fantastic. You know, those the peak brightness and quantum dot color definitely benefits on the detail of that beard. 
So, uh, now, of course, you know, the one accolade, the one benefit of this TV, it's always going to be that peak brightness and the quantum dot color that they have, that quantum dot technology, the spectrum of colors. However, you will have to get used to the fact that you will have that bleeding light here and there uh, if you're sitting in a corner or if somebody's sitting in a corner. But it's really not to the point where you're going to be like, oh, Jesus, I can't watch it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. The only reason my eyes notice it more, it's because I'm used to and accustomed to, L to OLED now. So my eyes will definitely recognize if something is wrong. Because your eyes will remember, oh, wait a minute, we were watching this on the OLED. It was perfectly dark. And now here we are watching it here, and it has a little bit of that bleeding light. But it's still great. Look, this is still a great fucking TV. I never said this is a bad TV. Did I ever say it's a bad TV? Did I ever bash this TV? Did I return this TV? No, it's an excellent fucking TV. I'm just telling you the difference. Now, let me show you before we end this. Let me show you the calibrations. All right, this is what you got to do. Standard mode. Okay, remember that? It's on the standard. Go to the expert settings. Backlit and contrast always has to be maximum. Since you're watching HDR, remember that. That's always maximum. Backlit and contrast always maximum. Brightness, I moved it down to 42 because I'm trying to achieve a little bit of those deep dark levels, okay? Sharpness, I moved it down to the 10 because I felt like, to me, that's a perfect amount of sharpness outlining because the way the film was shot, I don't want to have too much of that noise. Color, I felt like 55. It's a good balance. I left it at 55. The tint, I never mess with that. Digital clean view, you can keep this on auto or you can keep it off. It's not going to affect this at all. This is only used for a cable to adjust that distortion and, you know, any kind of like noise you might be having on the cable. Auto motion plus, you can turn it on, but I turn it off, honestly. Uh, it just makes the picture more uh, soap opera-like and blurry. You don't want that. Smart LED is always high. The one thing I did change, I moved the uh, dynamic contrast to high. And it seems to work well. Because if I move it down to a uh, dimmed, then you see more of that. Then you lose the deep dark levels. Here, let me show you. See, when I go, you see that? When I go and it gets too dim, then I lose all of that peak brightness that I need. You see, you don't see any more detail on his hair. Look at the detail on his hair now. See? Now you don't see it. Now you see that detail. So I left it at high. So leave it at high and color tone at a standard. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys write this stuff down. Remember, keep that dynamic contrast at high. And keep that color tone at standard as well. So there you have it. There you, there you go. You see, I even do it for the LEDs now. So enjoy it. Try it out. Put it out there. See if you like it. I'm not saying that you're gonna, that everybody's gonna like my custom picture settings, but give it a try. I personally think this is the best that I can squeeze for this TV and for this movie. So there you have it. Enjoy it. Take care.